everybody uh, my name is angie morenga you're watching just angie it's the voices of the ecclesia it's the last sunday in april i really hope that you've enjoyed the month of april and we're getting ready to get into may and i've had an amazing i'm doing an amazing sermon series with uh, pastor nyamo from mavuno ruaka and it's just so exciting and she's brought us a really good message about about the holy spirit and then today um, I just feel that we should continue the conversation mm -hmm. about prayer. Okay. So in um, Matthew 6, mm -hmm. from verse 8, it says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. So the whole idea is to not to be seen yeah, yeah. when you're yeah. praying. Mm -hmm. um, truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Yeah. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. And then this, this then is how you should pray. Our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts. And we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one and for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will forgive yourself but if you do not forgive others their sins your father will not forgive you mm -hmm. that's up to verse 14 so do you want to weigh in yeah you know this is this is fascinating that people have been praying loudly to be seen for yeah. a very a long, long time. time you know <laughs> like for a very long time and I like that Jesus addressed it. He said, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think, what's like the modern version of that? Of that? You know, it's when, it's when we go to church and you've not prayed the entire week. But now in church. But now in church, you are the, the person, loudest. The loudest. Yeah. You, you are I the loudest. Imagine. And, and for me, um, yeah. the fact that Jesus mm -hmm. calls us to pray in a secret place, mm -hmm. Just my version says, uh, uh, when you have shut your door, pray to your father who's in the secret place, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, secret victory before there is public, public victory. victory. Yeah, and so yeah. I, I find that so fascinating because prayer is just one of those things that we should all pray. Sure, but how do I know that you've been praying when Jesus is asking us, pray in private? Pray in private. And then I think that's important because then people will say, what about corporate prayer? But I think what you said is the truth. This, when you come to pray corporately, you should have prayed privately. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. You should have prayed in the secret place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you need mm -hmm. to be growing the secret place. Then you come now because there's a place of corporate prayer. Yeah. But not not to be the one they are praying, and you have not prayed. You have not you, you have not been in any secret place with God for I don't know how long, and here you are now. You yeah. know, uh, t uh, showing us how you can pray. Mm. Because also I think there is a prowess in prayer. People can pray, and you can even uh, um, I don't know develop a way that you pray in front of people. But God knows the Spirit knows, and even when you're praying, I think He's telling you. But you, I haven't seen you for I don't know how long. In the, in the in the in the in the secret place in the in the prayer closet. So I believe there's the place of corporate prayer, mm. but there's a place of private prayer. And I think what you, what I like is you're re-emphasizing. We need to be able to pray privately. Yes. We need to have a secret place, a secret place, an altar, a place where we pray, mm. where we seek God, where we 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 commune with Him one on one, even before now you come. And you're, you're, you're praying before people. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, and even the corporate prayer, because you see in church, we can pray corporately. But these guys look like they were in the street. I don't know where. Just, you know, praying and showing themselves mm. off. But they, I think that's the truth. Mm. They're showing off about their prayer, but they haven't had, they don't have a secret true. prayer life. They don't yeah. have a, a strong prayer life with God. They don't. But this is just for sure. Yeah. Because it actually about. says that they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corner of the street. streets so that they may be seen, seen. by men. So the motive exactly. is to be seen, seen. by men. Yeah. Which sometimes when in that corporate prayer, the motive is to be seen, seen by men. 
Not that you want to pray yes. because God said we should pray. Imagine. Because mm. prayer is a part of the discipline. Yes, it is. That is it. Yeah, it's mm. prayer is part of the, mm -hmm. That's why we should be praying. Mm. Mm. Not so that people can see you. Yes. Be praying because it's a discipline. It's something that is required. Yeah. It's a requirement. That's what I'm feeling like. It's a requirement yeah. to be able to pray. It is. But your strength, and, 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 and sometimes I always say, you'll always know people who are praying by, 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 when they come and they open their mouths, you can tell this one has been in prayer. That's so true. This one has been in mm. worship. This one has been in a place with God. Yeah. You can always tell. Mm. Yeah. You're right. And Jesus says, assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Yeah, in full. As in, because he's added in full. The reward is in full. The reward is just that being done, seen by seen. men. But that's what they wanted. <laughs> the, the whole motive was to be seen by yeah. men. So they have received the reward. They have been seen. That is just so insane when you think about it. That I am here trying to pray in a certain way so that men can be like, wow, wow. she's a prayer warrior. And that every reward I will ever get yeah. is just, imagine. Th that's it. But then when we pray in secret, it says that the Father, your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Which, if it was a choice, you know, like how I could say, do you want chicken or do you want beef? Which one could you pick? for praying to be heard by men or praying in yeah. the secret place so that the Lord can reward you. Openly. The, word, the reward. I know. The, word, the reward of God is what we need. Yes. And then we have to wait for whatever it's coming, but the reward of God is what we mm. need. Yeah, so I really love that. I love that, that, that praying in secret, that crying in secret, that connecting with God and communing with God. Yeah. And I also like, I don't know when you were speaking, I was thinking also, this thing that he already knows what you need, so some people will say, suppose I like speaking to the naysayers first. So then why do we have to go and pray? Thank you. Why people do we have ask to go that. and pray? Because he already knows what you need. Yeah. Me, I think it's the posture of asking. Yeah. It's taking a position of you know what I need, but I need to get on my knees by the side of my bed and just seek you for this. Yeah. And and also this needs also how do they want how, how are they going to be executed and and even when you bless me with this what do you want me to do with it anyway my head is going over <laughs> this, <but laughs> you know what i'm thinking me. you know how mm. the bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the, the word, word of god, of god yeah faith also we grow our faith also by speaking uh -huh. so when we go to our father and say mm. you know what in the name of jesus i ask for mm. yes he already knows what we need before mm. we ask him mm. but it's helping to grow our faith yes yes, yes. because you ask and when you believe the mm -hmm. bible says that you receive Steve. so you are now operating at a different level that of faith so because so it's true. activated faith is activated by our I'm words speaking. and i think that's when jesus uh, uh, uh i think it's in mark he says whoever says yeah. to this mountain move move to move and whoever and then he, he says says three times in that verse so there is power in saying, in saying yes, we, I know the father knows what I want, but then I have to say it. I'm just thinking even of my children. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I know what, they, what need, they need, but they still come up to them. My son, just before I came, he said, mm -hmm. Mama, I want a yellow jacket. Wow. A yellow jacket. Yes. Wow. Written numbers. Wow. With a zip and button. I, I like was the like, description. Wow. That is so specific. Did you see a yellow jacket yeah, His somewhere? brother has an orange one. <laughs> So now he wants a yellow one. Yeah, so he wants a yellow one. And it was very specific. specific. So me, I have to go find out. look for the yellow yes, jacket. Yes, But it's true. But also, I we think it's also humility, pass. isn't it? It is. I think there's humility, even if we look at that. There's humility yeah. in asking. Because mm. sometimes you're like, I know that you know that this is what you want. <laughs> but ask me. Yeah? Because there's like also humility God is trying to develop in us. So it's you're character right. development. Yeah. That you, is this what you need? Yeah, As, Ask. stop assuming, mm. stop feeling that tantrums, stop telling me you need it. Yeah. you can imagine if your son came with the attitude of, of mom, you should know mm -hmm. <laughs> that right. I need a yellow jacket with this, with look, looking like this. Okay. He's making assumptions it's true. about yeah. many things. He should be asking in humility, yes. in love, yeah. and I'm sure he did, mm -hmm. and say, This is what I want, yeah. this is exactly what I want. And then I like that. Even from your analogy, that was very specific. Because it means even in prayer, we become specific. We have to be specific. Very specific. God come through is not a prayer. Yes. It's not a prayer. But people oh say that God. all the time. Yeah. God, I need you to come through. Come through I'm for like, me. How? How? There's another one. This one might not make people happy, but you know, <laughs> this is just me. So that's what we say, will send to me and say, uh, please pray, pray for me. 
So I'll write back, eh? What are we? Mm. No, just pray in general, and then what God? I'm like, no, 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 no. And then no, no. be, I'm like, excuse me, I am not <laughs> going to do that. If you want a prayer, what is the prayer? Speci you have to be specific. You have to be very I can't just specific. go out there and make general prayers. What does that no, mean? No, you can't. I'm not even motivated to you go can't. and pray. Yeah. Please, that, tell me what it is that you want. Exactly. So being able to describe and be able to, to even, I don't know what the word is, to to explain, mm. to commune, mm -hmm. to say what it is that you desire. It's, I think it's good. It's, it's humility. Yes. It's you've thought through what you want. Um, and now you're praying with specifics yeah. in mind. You're not just praying general general prayers. You're it's praying true. with specifics in mind. And you know, when you pray with specifics, when God comes through, you know it's God. You know it's God. Because I could be praying, God come through, mm -hmm. and then someone sends mm -hmm. me, let's say I'm praying for God to come through, then God sends me 20,000. At mm -hmm. that point, I won't think it's, it's the come through. Yeah. But if I say, I, Father, I need this. Thank you. You're I need 20,000. I need this. Yes. I need shopping. I need this. Exactly. Then when it comes through, you'll like, know. It, it's God. God has answered that. Yes. Prayer. So you, oh, we goodness. have to be very, very specific with our yeah. prayers. Yeah. I, there's someone who asked us, how many people are believing God for a car? Different people raised up their hands and they said, which car? But people what? started thinking, oh my yeah, gosh, because which Because you haven't got it that far. You have to think through everything. Very specific. I want a Defender 110. Yes. Black. The color. Color ribs. Yes. Everything. Leather everything. seats. Yes. You have to really think through. So that when it comes through, you're not doubting. That it Wait, was God. Who was this? You know 100% it was that God. It, God came through yeah. for you. Yeah. It's so amazing. And then I think also when, when you're talking about the specifics, it shows that you've thought about it. Mm. Because, because sometimes also, we go to God in prayer. God bless me with a car. Because... You, you think he can just bless you with any car because uh, you know now <laughs> if i start taking out a defender this is an impossible situation that's what you start telling yourself yeah imagine you start you start talking yourself out of the blessing yeah. even oh. before you continue praying yes. because you're thinking it's impossible yeah? right, now in your eyes it's you have impossible. no faith then you have no faith so you will not receive see, of course yes james see, says it <laughs> you will not it's receive because <laughs> you're not going to receive because you don't believe yeah you don't have faith you have to you have, you have to, to have, have faith. faith and then also i guess you have to have reasons like why do you want the defender it could be also you're like these pharisees uh -huh. you want to show off you want mm -hmm. to be seen then now it's not coming that one is don't sure love god it's not coming yes the one for we want to be seen ah. that one no Selfishness, no, it will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, there's somewhere I read that God is not a heavenly Santa Claus. Jesus. No, just don't go. Giving gifts, mm, just I like know, that. Just like that. I think gifts have to be, I think they are very, they are very assigned to assignment. Some gifts, yeah. a lot of gifts are assigned to assignment. Uh, yeah, ability. Because mm. even if you look at the parable of the talents, he said he gave each one. He gave five, two, and one mm -hmm. according to their ability. It's true. So it's what you needed for the assignment. Exactly. For, yeah? Why do you yeah. need it? What is it going to do? How is it going to help uh, God? You know, how is it going to advance the kingdom? It's true. How is it going to establish the kingdom of God? Yeah. Is it just for you to be known that you have this thing? No, there's a lot more that's going into it. No, yeah? you're right. And then I think there's this progress. This it's it's sometimes praying to God is like an oxymoron because on one side there's incremental. <laughs> process and progress on the other side is the supernatural yeah like you can jump over you don't have to go through this you can say move from here to there and you do it you know yeah. um so I, but it's it's in <clears throat> maybe as i'm hearing to ask myself it's in the way you grow the way you know god you know you know god speaks to all of us differently even yeah. me and you very mm -hmm, differently mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. so when you go seek him in prayer you know what he's telling you yes you know what he's not saying yeah. you know what he's saying like when he was telling you now you guys go and plant this church mm. and you're like hey wait first so it's it's like it's very personal it's very personal how yeah. you and God relate, mm. even in the place of prayer. Yeah. I think that's what's called a personal relationship. You know yeah. those people, and they have a personal relationship. relationship. And you know God is a personal, personal he God. Is. He will come through for me in exactly the way that I am. I want him to come through for mm. me. For me, it may not be the same for you. We could be praying for the same thing, yeah. but how it comes is completely different. Mm. I like that Jesus actually went ahead and taught these people how to pray. Mm. Like he just decided, let me show you how you should pray. Yeah. And he starts by just saying, our Father in heaven, you know, adoration, mm. worship. Yes. And then he says, you know what, there's also provision. Yes, uh, provision. Your will be done on earth as it is, it in, is heaven. in heaven. Yeah. Then supplication, give us this day our daily bread. Mm. And then he just goes and teaches them also how to confess. Yeah. Uh, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver yeah, us from, from the, the evil, evil one. one. 
I, I find this so fascinating. I think this starts with the disciples asking, how should we pray? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And God, Jesus used to pray a lot. And I, I, th I think even just the disciples having that, that heart. You know, the disciples were like Jesus' BFFs. Mm -hmm. And then they, they must were, have looked and they were like, watching him. Mm. This guy knows how to pray. Yeah. We don't know. Let's ask him how, how we ought how to, we pray. to pray. And then he just tells them, one, don't pray like this. Mm -hmm. No, do not be yeah. like them. Hypocrites in the in the synagogues and on the corner mm. on, on on the corner of the streets. But this is how you ought you to, to pray. pray. And that just I think I think Jesus could have I think sometimes the way we imagine Jesus mm. is we romanticize him. Mm. You know, we he is over there. I know he ascended into heaven, but this actually shows that he was he was literally in their business. Mm. Can you imagine teaching someone how to pray? Yeah. Like first don't do this, okay? And, and then, this is not how you pray. And then this is how you pray. Mm. You need to have such an amazing relationship with that person. And mm. that's what I love about Jesus. He yeah. was just yeah. in there. He was real. And even now. Yes. Even if he's, he's with us, he's mm -hmm. so real. Yes. And when we step into that prayer closet, he's a real God. And he will teach who's us. A, who's, yes, he will teach you. And yeah. even I love when he says, teach us your ways. Mm. I love that. That, you know, if, even if you don't know, you go ask him. Yeah. And I like the fact that I think it's one disciple who asked, but then he taught, that he taught everybody Everyone. how to pray. Yeah. And I also like that there's an emphasis on forgiveness. Mm. I love it. I love that it, there's yes. such an emphasis mm. on forgiveness mm -hmm. because he says, um, give us to, today our daily bread and forgive us our debts yeah. as we have also so forgiven our debtors. debtors. But then verse 14 says, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. Yeah. You know, yeah. mm. so there's so much also forgiveness in this. And I'm just thinking as we come to a close, I'm just thinking, you know, Pastor Nyamo, can you imagine? I think, that, like, because you brought up a point, I think they were watching Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes you can watch people and see the results mm. in their lives. And then now the whole prayer thing becomes real. Yeah. Because you can see that, that people pray and then they get the results mm. um, that, 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 that they are required. So yeah. I think they were watching Jesus. Mm. And they were like, this man, there's something about him. Is it a peace? Is it the way he's, is it authority? Mm -hmm. Is it the way he says things? Is it the way that, that, that he spends his time? You know, drawing away, praying, mm. praying before assignments. Um, and then they see the results. He feeds people. Miracles take place. He heals people. So I think this is what, after watching him, because I'm not sure how long they had watched him, but they were like, this, the, what, what, the secret of this man yeah. is prayer. That's true. I believe so too. They I said, think. they observed the secret of this man's yeah. life. Is prayer. prayer, yeah, and so they stepped into mm. into that prayer. No, you're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, and I think forgiveness is a big one because forgiveness can actually keep you from praying. And of forgiveness, course, of course. Yeah, how will you pray? You have so much bitterness harbored in your heart. You can't, and you cannot see yourself because you know me. I think why I forgive is because I see myself. I see myself. I see my situations. Mm. I see where I've messed mm. up. So I'm like, if I cannot forgive or be forgiven, it's gonna be a whole mess. So yeah. let me just forgive freely. Yeah. And I'll see. I'll see myself. I'll see clearly when I was in a situation like this, or you know, mm. and, and it will it will make me forgive people. Yeah. Mm. There's a time I really was struggling with forgiveness, mm. uh, especially with my close family. Uh, mm. You know, family drama. All families and have drama. And then I think it was at Mavuno downtown, Pastor Faith was preaching and she said, if you do not forgive, it stops it stops your prayers from being answered. Mm. I was like, hold yeah. on. Uh -uh. All the prayers I've been it making, <laughs> just because I have, I love I'm not forgiven. Because I'm not forgiven. <laughs> and these people, they actually do not need to be forgiven. But I mean, now they're even causing more drama. Yes. On top of being dramaful, now they want to interfere with my Can answered you prayers. Like, no way. Never. But I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. let me just forgive them. Yes. We move on. Because I, I need my I prayers like, answered. Every prayer I've made, yeah. but then I was so confused. That thing just completely shattered mm. my, like, my brain. I was like, mm. hold up. What are you saying? That because I haven't forgiven so and so, mm -hmm. my prayers will go unanswered. Mm -hmm. Why? Why mm -hmm. could I do that to myself? Mm -hmm. What's the point of going to your secret place, place. and then not forgiving? And forgiving <laughs> is mentioned twice. Nothing else is mentioned twice here. Yes. Forgiveness is mentioned twice. This means it is serious. It is serious. And that it can hold you back. Yes. And you can't allow it. Already they've messed you up. Yeah. Whoever the drama people are. Thank you. Then 
or to where they stand between mm. you and your prayers. Please no, no. forgive everyone, let go, put the things down, say, Lord, let's go this yeah, way. Yeah. So it's very, very important. It, it's very important for people yeah. to forgive and mm. to even say it. Say, I forgive so and so. Yeah. I forgive yeah. so and so. Yeah. I think, and so if you're out there and you're struggling with forgiveness, mm. forgive, forgive, yeah. say the words, I forgive so and so, and just leave it with God. Mm. Yeah. And then I like, I think my concluding remark will mm -hmm. be that it says, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm. So the, the aspect of adoring God, yes. you know, yeah. um, coming before him in adoration mm. and saying, this is God. Putting him, I think Kaji says, put him in your rightful place. Yes. Like, this is God, yeah? This is God. Yes, we can, we can talk, we can engage one-on-one -on -one and he's allowed that to happen, but first put him in his place. Yes. First worship and adore him. Mm. First realize who it is that you're talking to. It's Even your true. son yeah. demonstrated that. Mm. You're not God, but he came mm. and he said, Mommy, this is what, you, you say it in a uh, nice way. Mommy, this is what it. I want, yeah. you know? I really, I, this is what I want. But he's not, he's not demanding, he's not coming with an attitude, he's not, there's a way that he's projecting himself. I'm sure he came very, and I wonder whether he had thought about it all night, but maybe he thought, <laughs> This is what I need, and yeah. I'm going to take it to my mom, you yes. know? And that's what we should be like yeah. as well. But not coming with accusations and, and not understanding who God is. Mm. Yeah. You have to understand that he is God. Yeah. And that's why it says, it's, I always find it an oxymoron that it says that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. But then again, it tells us, do not fear. So I feel like fear is just like in awe, mm, just yes, holding him reverence. in reverence yes, 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 yeah. of who he is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then now you can be able to talk, approach. I mean, I guess even in different seasons, know what you need to do, you know. When is it time to be playful? When is it time to be serious? Mm. When is it time to joke, you know, as you grow and you learn about yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, but I think when you put, when you have an understanding of who God is, then it informs everything else. Yes. It informs the confession, it informs supplication, it mm. informs thanksgiving. Because you're coming from a place of knowing who he is, understanding it. And so even when you ask things, mm. when you're confessing your sin, you're like, I, he saved me from wrath. You know, I could be burning in hell, mm. but he saved me because of his love. Mm. And so adoration informs every part. Anything that follows after that. thereafter. You know, if you ask, he will, if you believe, you will receive it mm. because he owns that. Like he's, you know, he's the most powerful being on earth. Mm. But also Thanksgiving, you understand just this breath in our lungs, the mm. song, then you understand yeah. it's his it breath. It's who has given yes. you breath, mm. the ability yes. to be alive. Yeah. Every morning that you wake up, mm -hmm. it's a miracle to be awake yeah. and to be healthy and to be whole. Yeah. That's true. So that's the posture, the yeah. posture of adoration, the posture of Thanksgiving. And then, of course, the confession and then the, the supplication. Mm. Yeah, so I hope you've, you've really enjoyed that. Um, I know I have. I've really enjoyed um, the conversation around prayer yeah. and the conversation about the Holy Spirit. And thank you so much for coming and sharing oh, with us. And we are me. looking forward to see how God works yes. in Mavunoraka because I know thank he's so working. Much. And he's going to do great and mighty things. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. It's been amazing. I'm so grateful. Yeah, that this you is came. a great honor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you that you also honored us and responded to our invitation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. God bless you guys. Happy Sunday. It's going to be May soon.